they know, oh shit, this guy's good. Mm. I'll fight him, I lose. Mm. He's, He's a risky guy to verse. Yeah, because times that is now stuck in an awkward uh, situation where how challenging comes up was finding it. But that is why nobody wants to fight him. You want to know why no one wants to fight Hamzat Shmaev? Couple reasons, but why? You tell I'll me. tell you why. So Neil Magna recently uh, went on Ariel Hawani to talk about his uh, upcoming fight with uh, Gilbert Burns, right? In the fight, I mean, in the in the interview, mm. Ariel, you know, Ariel being Ariel, asks him about his sparring session with Hamzat. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's let's watch the video. All right. All right. Let's see. You still want the Hamzat fight? Oh, 100%. I mean, the guy is definitely the real deal. The best way I can explain it is like, I fucked around and found out. I <laughs> fucked around and found Fuck out. And shit. I found out the hard way. Ah, right. so he got his ass handed to him, basically. Damn. Right? He's honest um, about it, too. Yeah. Um, Very genuine. And there's actually this video of it out there. <clears throat> no, it's just a short video. We can watch that as well if you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need to let's, watch let's, it. Let's watch it. Well, they only showed like a tiny... <clears throat> Find uh, bits of it, right? Because yeah. you can tell this the guy recording this was sort of hiding, you know? Uh. Not hiding, but he wasn't he was trying to make he was trying to, to make it not obvious. Yeah. You know. Seeing that and you know, you could tell that Hamzat was like, you know, an playing easy, he was playing around. It was like playing around with his toy, you know. Mm. And it's pretty obvious here that Hamzat is the much better fighter, right? No, oh, absolutely. Um, mm. And uh, and now Neil Magny knows that, mm. right? And before all of this, Dana White used to come out and say, "Oh, no one wants to fight Hamzat," and Neil Magny would always say, oh, "I'm ready to fight him. I'm, I'll, I'll fight him whenever." And, and they will have a back and forth on Twitter. And uh, <laughs> and I'm sure Neil Magny is not going to do that anymore. Mm. He's not going to want to. He might say, oh, yeah, I don't mind. I'll fight him. But there's no way he's going to want to fight him because he knows he's going to lose. Yeah, he, okay. he has no chance of winning. Mm. right? And that's an issue here. That's the issue with Hamza. Hamza likes to train around everywhere. He, he likes to compete. Yeah. Right? So he trains everywhere. He, he He's trained at... Uh, the Tiger Muay Thai. He's mm. trained at uh, in uh, Henzo Gracie gym here with uh, Neil Magny. Mm. He's uh, trained with uh, Sean Strickland. Yep. He, he likes to travel around, right? And he's got his own uh, home gym, right? Mm. So that's the issue. So he's sparring with all these fighters, and they know, oh shit, this guy's good. Mm. <laughs> I'll fight him, I lose, right? And even if they don't spar, they might see uh, someone else spar with him, right? And they know, okay, maybe that someone else is better than me. Mm. And if it's getting manhandled by Hamzat, there's no way <laughs> I can beat this guy, mm. right? Yeah, That is the issue. So like everyone knows, oh, this guy is better. Why would I risk losing, uh, fighting him? I mean, I know I'm going to lose. Say there's a fighter who's like maybe two wins away from fighting for the belt. Mm. Why would you risk that and fight Hamzat when he knows he's going to lose? Yeah, exactly. that, that's the issue. So that is why. It's quite simple. That is why nobody wants to fight him. That's yeah. why the, uh, Dana White is having a hard time trying to find a fighter for Hamzat. Mm. You know, mm. he's, he's a risky guy to verse. Yeah, because people have sparred with him and they know. It's mm. like you know, when you spar with someone, you just know. And in that video, you can tell that Neil Magny was like trying his hardest, but he couldn't really do anything. Yeah, and I'm sure like there's a lot more footage out there that we haven't seen, but mm. you know, um, yeah. th th that's an issue, man. Like if you know someone's gonna beat you, why would you fight him? Mm. When you know maybe you're, you're two wins away from from fighting for the belt. So mm. Hamza is now stuck in an awkward uh, situation where the only people, the only fights he can have are championship fights, fights for the belt, mm. right? Because then UFC could always say, oh, if you don't fight Hamza, we'll just strip the belt off you, right? Mm. So <laughs> easy trajectory, maybe. Do you think it's gonna be easy for Hamza to work up to the belt? I mean, now because no one wants to fight yeah, him. He, yeah, he just has he just has to wait. Mm. He just has to wait. Uh, yeah, man. So he has to wait and find out what happens with Kamara Usman and uh, Leon Edwards. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. They could have a trilogy there. Yes. Depending on on how that fight goes, mm. but I mean, I think Leon, Leon. Edwards is probably going to win. Yeah. And you know, he could fight Leon um, Leon Edwards, right? Mm. 
or what happens he has to wait and see how the middleweight division uh, pans out you know yeah uh, so we got you know yeah with easy exactly yeah. so we don't we don't know what's going to happen with easy and uh, Pereira. Uh, yeah Alex Pereira like are they going to fight like you know so now he's stuck in a situation where he has to wait mm. to fight a champion shit sure. So that's weird. That's an issue, man. Because he can go in both categories. So he's got way yeah. more options than yeah. the average exactly, fighter. Exactly, right? He's got way and more. Yeah, nobody wants to And he fight. still can't find a, a fight, a yeah. matchup for him. Yeah. That's, that's insane. That, that's that's, that's issue, how scary man. he is. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> now, nah, don't get me wrong, though. That, uh, it's not as easy as we're saying. He's, he's, he's has some tough matchups, right? Like mm. Gilbert Byrne has already fought Hamzat. Okay. Yes. And... Hamzat had the toughest time with him, mm. right? That was his toughest match so far. Now yeah. that you bring it up with the, how challenging Hamzat was finding it yeah. against a ranked opponent like Gilbert, yeah. that brings some questions. Um, true. Yeah. True. Like what, how is he going to do against someone yeah, like that's why Usman, I think right, who's wrestling, mm. Mm. is top notch. Yeah. Kobe Covington, yeah. not sure whether that'll happen because... Yeah. I don't think Kobe would even want to spar uh, comes out. Uh, it's too risky. Too risky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it brings, raises some questions. That, that's definitely true. You know, that, mm. and that's why I think um, Robert Whittaker is Hamzat. It's probably like yeah, the toughest match for Hamzat. Yeah. Because yeah. Robert Whittaker has an ex- exceptional stand-up game. Absolutely. Like it doesn't look. It, it doesn't look, uh, I guess, as beautiful as like Easy or, mm. you know, like a Sugar Sean or, but he's up there with them. Oh, yes. He's very technical. He's really good with the fakes. <laughs> he's really good at hiding his kicks. It's very flowy. Yeah, it's exactly. It's very flowy, man. bouncy so and flowy. He has a very underrated, um, oh, stand-up, very underrated. stand-up game. But I, I think he's up stand-up. there with Easy, Sugar Sean's. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that, and he's also really good on the ground. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's I think that's a that's the problem. That's the next challenge. Yeah, that's the next challenge for if it happens for Hamza. And I think I don't know what I'm not sure if the UFC has actually offered Hamza to as a fight to Robert Whittaker because mm. I don't think Robert Whittaker is the type of guy who will turn down a down. Hamza fight. Mm. You know, so I, yeah, it would be a good money uh, fight. That's a good fight, man. That's yeah. a good fight. That's a good you know what's another up. good fight? Hamza and. Costa. Yeah, Paolo Costa. Yeah. That was yeah. meant to happen, no? Yeah. Um no. That was uh, on the book. Not on the no, book. No, it was Paolo Costa works. and um uh, Robert, Robert Whitaker. Whitaker yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But then true. Paolo Costa was like, nah, you gotta pay me more to fight yeah. to fight him. Like that doesn't anyway. Anyways. Yeah. I, I, I don't see I don't think Paolo is gonna fight Hamza. Nah. He's gonna he's gonna use that excuse of oh you gotta pay me more. Mm. You gotta um That's a struggle. But yeah, man, the the whole uh, uh, going back to the main point, Hamzat is gonna. That, that's the reason why Hamzat is having a hard time finding opponents. Opponents, yeah. It's because everyone knows is he, he's good. gonna. Yeah, everyone knows. If you if I know you're gonna beat me, why on earth would I volunteer to fight you? Mm. You know, like <laughs> hell no. Exactly, in front yeah. of millions of people. Uh, imagine around going the world. through. Yeah, like going through that weight cut. The camp, yeah, the, all that struggle. It's just mentally you're going into it knowing you're gonna lose. It's yeah, like, it's a struggle. So yes. nobody's gonna want to fight. Mm. Him. Mm. So his only fights are gonna be championship fights, yep. and I'm very excited and looking forward to he- seeing him as a champion and seeing what he does in the future. Uh, in the future, absolutely, you know? I agree with that. Yeah, awesome. All right, that's it.